friends let us continue with the discussion on numerical methods in computer analysis of offshore structures we are discussing lectures on module 2 in module 2 we have given exposure to computer codes on dynamic analysis now we understand how to estimate the basic characteristics of a dynamic system which essentially are the natural frequencies and the mode shapes we already know that this can be estimated by different methods we have computer codes to estimate them we also have hand calculations to verify them further for a lumped mass system or with discretization principle we know how to obtain the mass matrix and from the equation of motion how to get the stiffness matrix once i know the mass and stiffness matrices i can always estimate the damping matrix by classical damping by rayleigh damping and by cauchy damping so now for a given system i already have the variables of equation of motion as written here okay this is my classical equation of motion for a multi degree freedom system model so we know the mass matrix we know the k matrix for a given zeta value we know the damping matrix and from the different equations and coding available i can always estimate the aerodynamic the wind loads the wave loads the current etc at any desired point at any spatial variation in a given system maybe take a for example a cylinder now interestingly how to solve this problem let us take a very classical difficulty which is arising in this problem if you consider an offshore cylinder cylindrical member which falls in the morrison regime we already know that force at any instant time is a function of the structural displacement and velocity and acceleration so interestingly the equation of motion at c in equation number 1 are coupled because the right hand side of this equation has a variable which is actually an unknown value in this equation in fact when you solve this equation you are trying to get the displacement then the velocity and then the acceleration so that is an unknown actually ok if this is not known you will not be able to find the force vector so now there is a strong coupling existing between the right hand side of this equation and left hand side of this equation so how to solve this there are various methods available in the literature we will take one classical example of a numerical method and solve a simple problem by hand with this method and also explain a computer code then try to show the validated results between the computer code results and that of solved by hand. The numerical method which is popular to solve such equations of motion is Newmark's method. Newmark's method was suggested by Newmark NM 1959 a method of
computation for structural dynamics journal of engineering mechanics ASCE 85 EM3 67 94. Interestingly, since the left hand side and right hand side are interdependent, solution to the equation of motion becomes iterative. Literature uses direct integration method So, according to this method, the equation is integrated using numerical method which is a step by step procedure. So, the term direct means no transformation of equations into different forms. is done prior to the numerical integration. That is why this method is called direct integration method. To make this integration scheme conditionally stable, because all integration schemes in particular or numerical schemes in general needs to be ascertained for its conditional stability. This method says that the integration scheme suggested by new marks is conditionally stable when the time step used is smaller than a critical value. that is the time step used delta t should be lesser than or equal to delta t c r which is actually equal to delta t c r is actually equal to t n by pi where n is the order of element of the system.
and T n is the smallest period natural period of the system. So, the basic analogy in this method is equation is actually not tried or it is not solved at any instant of time t. But it is aimed to satisfy the equation at discrete time points that is very very important. Discrete time points within the interval of solution. that is the first analogy. The second assumption is that variations in the variables that is in my case displacement, velocity and acceleration within each time interval. is assumed. So, what does it mean is mathematically following equations are valid. u dot of t plus delta t is equal to u dot of t plus 1 minus del of u double dot t plus del u double dot t plus delta t of delta t call equation number 1 u t plus delta t is equal to u t plus u dot t plus delta t plus half of half minus alpha u double dot t plus alpha u double dot t plus delta t multiplied by delta t square. So, these equations are valid with respect to this analogy. So, based on this Newmark proposed an unconditional stable solution. Newmark proposed an unconditionally stable solution. This is called average acceleration method. More reference can be seen at Clause during Bate and Edward Wilson, nineteen eighty seven, numerical methods in 
finite element analysis. Prentice Hall, India Private Limited, PP 528. So, another reference which is parallelly available in the literature which helps you to understand the average acceleration method suggested by Numax beta. So, in the above equation if you see the variables del and delta t and alpha. So, alpha is considered as 0.25 and del is considered as 0.5 and delta t is the time step for the solution. So, these are nothing but the discrete points, the discrete time intervals at which the equation is valid okay that's what happened